know if you've ever thought about this or thanked God for this, but we don't ever have to wonder in the, in the world that God created, this world of order that he gave us. If you plant a cucumber, it's going to you out. don't have to wonder if you're going to get a watermelon, <laughs> right? Like, you know you're not because you planted the seed that grows the cucumbers. Now, if you mix up the plant seeds, and then that may be a mystery. But, um, but whatever we plant, like crop owners aren't planting corn and then going, Dear God, please don't let it be strawberries. I couldn't sell strawberries last year. Please let it be corn. You know, we know, we know what to expect. It bears what it's supposed to bear, right? Um, you know what poison ivy looks like. It doesn't change. We know what it looks like, right? We recognize it. We can recognize it by its fruit, right? People aren't like that. We live in a world where we're like, but what kind of person are you? I don't know. I kind of got to wait. I got to wait to see what you're really like, right? God has made in us this system where we will show the fruit of our lives. It will come out eventually. You can hide it and hide it. You can be a hypocrite. You can play the actor for a long time. But eventually, it's going to show itself, right? I, when I read this, I think about um, the Apostle Paul. Paul talks about the fruits of the Spirit, right? Because first he talks about the world. The world, these things come out. But then it says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And what he's saying is if you plant that seed in your life, it's going to grow fruit. That's what it is. Whatever you're planting into your life, it's growing. We, we were designed by God to worship something, to be devoted to something. It's going to come out. And so what we have, the challenge is, okay, what am I, what fruit am I planting into my life? Because it's going to grow. It's going to start growing. So if we can look at our lives and go, okay, I need to be more patient. Then I need to start planting patience into my life somehow. Um, or forgiveness. If you're like, I'm not a very forgiving person. Well, in little ways, you need to start planting seeds of, okay, this is how I need to remember how to forgive. What are the steps to forgive? And you need to start planting that. Um, again, his, his word, very throughout scripture, his word, it talks about this grows within us, right? Um, this is our food, and it, it comes out of it. Well, it doesn't, that sounds gross. It comes out of us. But whatever we plant into ourselves, it's going to come out. 